repeat my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. This green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and wore. yourself. You're not getting any me. Look, a satyr works through my hammer. <laughs> when you speak with the king, hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer band. You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You're just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Let's go! You see? She agrees!
bonded in friendship and love. Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. All then speed, our mouth will bring. The noble deeds are gonna sing. The brave and slain, Valkyria. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil.
overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. Chasing me, Wolf Kissed. Seventeen winters. Eighteen. Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death would be a lonely one. Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Abel Wolfkiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver! Pull the ship! I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? Thank <laughs> you. 
have killed this man. We need to be careful. away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotwe tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Warriors crawl through Arvel's nest like lice. They use the main gate and may attract attention. The longhouse. The crew should be inside. for both of us. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. <laughs> you coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine. 
You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Atki. Already dead. I will sell you to hell herself. Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your whole fight! Die, you sack of shit! Held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. Or must be kind, Wolf Kissed. Thank you. Even if you're. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. Listen here. If you can breathe... Keep that guessing. Throw it out, man! No, you're dead! Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship.
Jack, Braggy, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Oars, it's about time. Sail. Stop yapping and start rowing. Silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Let's hit the bastards! Eivor! Eivor! Need your eyes, my friend. They'll come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright, wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. You there! You look like you could handle yourself in a fight! Eve! It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested? How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. <laughs>
This is my raiding crew, Eivor. But they lack in experience. They make up for in other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron. Into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashield the team. The blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Well, who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, yeah? I'll handle more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, to not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Ava. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready! Uh, fight! The raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here! You have much to learn. me first. Maybe you want to sit back there. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. That's enough! Did I win? No, but you fought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. <laughs> Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra. For cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Tiny little child approaches. Me? 
Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. I haven't the coin. For welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects, priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurther when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. What about that helmet? That was the helmet Hafton the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chutna pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward! I should cut you down. No! May Hilke curse you! Words will not stop me. Your treachery ends here. Please, I never betrayed Farron. All my life, I was frightened and I fled. And when I returned, everyone was gone or dead. And yet you looted our dead. Bartered the ashes of their lives. 
It was all I could find. I sold nothing for a long time. But the weight grew too heavy, and I needed to eat, to survive. This is not living. Without honor, we are worse than beasts, and have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. This world is all I know, and this life all I have left. Would you take that from me? Take anything you want from my shop. Take everything. Just let me live. What? May the gods grant you better luck than I. Split you. Okay, then. Curse you. So you can stay within the city. You find safety within its walls. I love being out on the open water. The chill, the mist, the rolling waves. It gives a feeling of freedom. And then, to look around and see the rising fjords and glinting snow, I think, by the gods, the world is a place of wonder. See there, the vaulted shoulder bones of sad Emi. The bubbing seas, his blood, his brains, the soaring clouds. Fashioned for stout warrior folk by the old father and his kin. For all this, we must give thanks. There you go again, putting feeling into words that none here can match. Why averse yourself, Dag? Poems are not difficult if you give vent to your feelings. Uh, I will feel my feelings as I always have, without words between them and me. King about this misadventure. Only the truth. That we attacked Jotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. returns and not half dead we thought we had lost you Eivor for good this time a warm welcome as always Randri. you look like red and shit what happened 
Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home! Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! <laughs> Shut up, Rolf! How do you know? You never went on a raid! You shut up! It is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my lie. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Come into 
freak. Get us a mule. Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Think you can match horns with me? Mead is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well This land drunk will never done. prosper while clan battles Who stand. would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been war, even among the gods. In Midgard of the shop, Ashgard was to Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? How are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead.
Is there something else? See you later, Swain. Sure. Gods. When Midgarda was young, Asgarda was torn by strife. The battle-born Asir, hating the Vanya's magic, betrayed custom and made murder in Odin's great hall. Gulveg of the Vanya was killed and burned. Not once, but three times. Is there no one who will go around? Songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... Let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Whatever happens, whatever I see, whatever you foretell, it must stay between us. We cannot change the fate we are bound to. What matter who knows and who does not? The outcome will be the same. It matters to me. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Uh, uh, uh. 
Ramon. Hmm? I saw nothing, Volker. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Valka, I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared. The size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. 
Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Wake up, or you'll be cast into the wild. Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, Everyone dies. <laughs> Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> yeah. Ivan, Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. No. I was flying through the air. In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of old neighbor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go.
Goodman. It appears your ship is like one of Holger's stories. Never quite finished. <laughs> Get me some decent wood and I can finish it in a week. But Styrbjorn won't gift me any. There was little planned at Arvelsness. But if I come across any, it will be yours. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the... Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. You, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best need, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies, and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Arryn. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts, Sigurd has come! 
Down at the docks. His ship is here. Hey, careful with that one. Hey, Bud! See you good? <laughs> oh, look at you, blood so drinker. Why have you been worrying without me? Oh, you. So cured by Giga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just a start. Round me, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him. I must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtvis men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kjotve the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh. Father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, Father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Uh, 
Landry. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, uh, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Thornburg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. <laughs> Hytho, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes, but the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. A mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. You are Basil. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basil. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of her meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basil. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you in these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink! <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame! Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start! It's good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. 
This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. Weapon for the finest warrior I know. <laughs> Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. <laughs> Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. <laughs> I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. <laughs> I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. <laughs> this clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. But not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Nicely done. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. That's it. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target. Exactly, just like that. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Mentor, does anyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up.
From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotvis warriors! With each day we wait, Kurt will grow strong. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nordfall, that whaling village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Cover two. Let the sail go. Warriors. Bring it. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end. Afraid. 
I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nuchtfall from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevian did not trust fate for both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
Good the ships are coming! Hail, Raventland! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthor, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kjotve is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. You missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. 
The neighbor may give challenge to Kyotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Kyotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, hide them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones, but Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed.
Yes. of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorum. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire.
fruit of vengeance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorn. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. my brow. The scouts will sing of this night. We have won the day. Gorm escaped. Fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Booth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his holding at Alfistani. Tell him we will come. Battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> If the fates have spun it so, linger here and look what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's outing. I know, Sunan. Another time.
fólk átti að koma til alveg. Tiny little child approaches. Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skill. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. We all remember when Eivor gave orders to attack Kjotve's clan in Avalsnes. I knew even then our chance at victory was slim. It was a fool's errand. But Eivor demanded we strike, and I am not one to disobey my superior. Such is the mark of an honorable man. You all know what followed. We set upon Kjotve's men and were overwhelmed. You lot were captured and fit to be butchered, and Eivor here, carried off to be sold into slavery. A fate worse than a fine death. But there is one fact you do not know. In the initial fight, I came upon Kjotve, cowering Hold on, the ah! 
Here, I'll get you.
I have an iron stomach. Your clan is a foul back. stench. We are strong. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stepping your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach. Follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. 
I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old things will have started. I should find Sigurd. long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown taller. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Ava. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor wolf kissed. You are Kjotve Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. 
And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Pionyar. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I'm bound to Sigurd, and he to me. But if fate should cross the threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Okay. Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's Younger. clever. Do not underestimate him. He came words, of age very answer. quickly. Are you one of Harold's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask. Are you one of the conquered? Did Harold take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Fornberg, warrior. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will... Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. to England, and there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. 
I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take Kjotve's spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjörn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry? Oh. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me. I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! 
Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, Mark. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Draghi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ratna will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! What about Allah? Citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Did you get my tea? Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in.
Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. This land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say long. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. But they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the one-eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. 
That is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism died. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to me? Not at all. I simply forgot. Someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a train spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. off limits. Sigurd, give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. 
We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick, and ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning, they are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a guard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! Ah! On me! <laughs> Oi, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakraut. And draw your weapon! Oh! Let's finish it! <laughs> you have what you wish for, Dad! <laughs> I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. 
I keep horses, and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragna, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. Where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear.
Short notes, mostly. Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here. Oh, the monasteries are well gone. Ah, but nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Here is a tale I do not often tell. There was a clan, little known in the south, composed entirely of warrior women. And I... What? Why you did not stay with them when they asked you to be the king, dog, I will never understand. <laughs>
can't do this alone. should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My God tells me that. So, Eivor, what's your count? My count? Dag, I have no need to count my kills. I number too many. Likely so.
back so soon. Wonderful labor. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. Eivor, what brings you to my humble shop? Aitham, now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belong. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one, but with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Dear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basil. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Well, still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, 
and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Come yeah! A perfect fall! And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this Order. Sigurd and I want the same. A land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thames, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy Thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, 
Search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Adam, for all of this. Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories. Eivor! In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. A letterbox for messages and requests. much, but it is mine. <sighs> My back hurts standing here all day. Yeah. You're ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. Done. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor! Hey, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randy. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd. For I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders. And you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. You 
You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leather-Chestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map if you would like to know what he has discovered. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Up a tune. Who will share a tale? Sail! Yeah. In the days of the feud between Kiokle the Cruel and the Raven Clan, there was a mad berserker called Kiar Robo. Kiar had pledged his battle fury to no king or yar, and would give his oath only once each winter for reasons nobody could fathom. One year, Kiar's sister, Fura, was married to Kiokle's brother, Alric. And soon, Kiar was often seen in the company of that clan. But soon after, word came to Kiar that Alrek had abused his sister. When he asked Thora about this, she told him, It is true. So Kiar invited Alrek on a hunting expedition. When they were away, Kiar my eyes, Sunan. pulled off one of his arms. When he returned to camp, Kiotve asked where his brother was. Kiar shook his head and held out his hand. In which was an armory. Your brother bid me give you this ring. Up, 
Stretch your wings, Suna. Up the sail! We will pick up. What are you doing? Andre mentioned this place, the last known location of the Summer Army. What has happened here? Who is asking? Avon of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland dope huts when we came. We made it lively. Grundbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskuna. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. That is terrible. How were you ambushed? It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Aryasko Masuma. She bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Raise the sail here. Shall we raise the sail, everyone?
Looks like Ragnarok itself came from Grand Bridge. Great battle rage nearby. Hold pulse. Great battle rage nearby. Hold pulse. We'll see what else lies within the fork. Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no debt to give you. You must be sober. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend and ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Granbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients? Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. 
If we hope to retake Grant Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bina, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Where's this Wickmund? What does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grand Bridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grand Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else, but these warriors are more than a blade and a shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, you will fight. Group of Danes, your captain. There! Leaves longer. I recognize the hull. This poem is about Leaf. Did he write this about himself? Be so kind. I've had quite the day. Look through the fog, Leaf. Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we found the others. We'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's shipshape when you return. Leaf is a prim and proper man, isn't he? He lives by a strict code of honor, more than most. Code of honor, more than most, and builds the best longships I've ever sailed. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. That's right! Tire yourself out! 
Just fine. Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Fair enough. I pitched a camp nearby, under a burning beacon. We'll meet you there when I found the others. And you as well, Stumpy. We'll head to the campground. I'll have everyone singing songs and dancing jigs by the time it's... Vienna is like a grapevine, early and hard to predict. While Leaf is like a be sturdy, straightforward. Times. It's important to keep those who disagree with you close as family. This longboat is beerness, I think. All scraped and bashed, it's hard to tell. Behind his shackles, wretched, carrying beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me! Terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only? Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am, and hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. We have a camp nearby, Galen. I'll take you there myself. Eivor. Join us when you're ready. has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on.
By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Sorm. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours, for Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night, gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grandbridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a ward or a grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Eivor. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. Garland, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, the forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day, the day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. <gasps> What's the meaning of your Vienna? And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush, losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It's good to have you in this fight, Vienna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me, and for Soma's loyalty. We fight for her. Borungur okkar frækin! Off we go! Run up to sail! Let's have a song. We need an epic tale. Have I ever told you the story about... I am fairly certain you have. Anyone else with a tale to share before Dag starts talking again? <laughs>
take the mask off. One on each side of the door. Move when you get... Bridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha <laughs> ha! What are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time! Quit Grantbridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grantbridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. Now, Thanes of Grandebridgeshire, we take what is yours! Look at the rampage. What has the done to me? We must free her from it.
end. You cannot hide from me forever. Come face your death. Heathen eels. Wigmund is gone. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen. Leif and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. 
Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift, for retaking Grand Bridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Blasted, cursed, horrible rats! Tough lands, old man? Those rats! I tried everything. I poured lye, I harvested locusts, I hired children to kill them. I need an army of miracles. They are pesky, and have ravaged your good crop. No. The gods can't get at rats. Ha! You heathens and your gods! All I want is to rid my field of rats. Feed the fair folk of the Shire. You need natural warriors to keep them at bay. Rats, be gone! Shoo! Shoo! I feel your army of cats have a destiny unrealized. You are a Freya of the Fens. What? Who the hell is Freya? Is she the whore that tried to eat my cat queen last week? She is a goddess, much like you, with pious and mighty cats that help her fight. Show your claws, good lady. Oh yes, mighty. That is what they are. And me, their goddess. Hmm. If you want, use this key and see for yourself. Ooh, my pretty babies. There you are. Head to the fields. Tat tat. Fight your battle. They should get some air. I guess I am. Like this Freya you spoke of. Ooh, I should release them and use them as warriors. Cats are sacred beings. They help keep harmony. Your rat problem has been taken care of. Pray to Freya. I never thought the meow of cats could soothe my soul. Take this key. In my house, I have some goods. Please help yourself. Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here. Then they sailed off, with allies to help crew the vessel. What see you all?
Run up to yeah. the Bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth.
up there! What's that? Barracks of some kind? There are sea skulls. Ah, sea skulls. Here is a tale I do not often tell. There was a clan, little known in the south, composed entirely of warrior women. And I... But why you did not stay with them when they asked you to be the king, dog, I would never understand. <laughs> Need an epic tale. During my 19th winter, King Stilbjorn ordered the construction of a new longhouse. The splendid hall you now see at Thornburg. To build this longhouse, he employed the help of 20 men. I was among them, as was Frade, the strongest and stoutest man I had ever seen. Oh, no! Can't do this alone. Hey, come here. Give me a hand with this.
Show me what lies ahead. Good. Well worth a little silver, I assure you. Right. Searching you now, breaking your oath. That is what will bring us ill luck. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me. Humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there. Gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed. But the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others? 
Leif from Vienna. Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Vienna, well, Vienna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. Vienna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Whitman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Edward. The red enemy of the branch will make a quick word of this place. If they see me, this will be messy. We are a curse! upon the wall. Leave no house unburnt. This is what they get for helping Randy and Chris. For licking Elderman Whitman's boots. Ready to Whitman is sure to take notice. You stand and roar like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga.
there's nothing. gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. Eivor, my muscle-banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Zoma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa... ...smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leaf's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. Yeah. Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up. I should be cautious. Everyone is so fox-eared as you are. More's the pity. the grass. Sound carries over snowdrifts. I learned you. I practiced by sleeping in and out of bedroom windows every chance I had. Your time is come! Thank <laughs> you. 
That's all of them. You fought very well, Vienna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Blows as much air as a hailstorm. He cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you? You never mentioned. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leaf. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Whitman steaming. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. Best race my
Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. You, Dane, come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless, the most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Oh. Ooh. A flighter? Is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? 
I will face the faceless. <gasps> My god. You are braver than most. More, perhaps, more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That is a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. A new victim! What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big, smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. But your rhythm is clumsy. You will never outpace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. Says the flighter who hides in a hole like a rat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. If we are arguing as to your talent, I shall happily die on this hill. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Ferkel the Faceless or Ferkel the Wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Fergal? Hello? You'll get nothing out of them. Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no, no, no. He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz. The lord will smite you from this land, all of you. May God have mercy on... <laughs> That 
home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Come on, I need the challenger! Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Vienna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Garland puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Garland sees an important meaning. Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. There's no yellow on our longships beyond some small details. If there is a yellow longship in the fence, I want to know. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen. You have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny. Carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. My 
feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. I have an iron stomach and a powerful thirst! Not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Thornburg. I was looking for elk or deer or other game to bring home, but my luck was poor and I could find nothing worth my arrows. Coming up over a rise, I saw a rounded mountain ahead of me with a strange narrow slit in the earth running left to right. There appeared to be fresh water in this crypt. We can continue later. Ah!
the Dark Raider is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Whitman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding. At the summit of the hill, I can smell him. My palms itch. I taste wind. Whitman. Probably cowering within the monastery. Hey, come here! will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A trail like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone, even if my heart needs mending. 
Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona. My deepest thanks. And... there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of... understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard. And now Grantbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grantbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. about this land, my friend.
out here! Good to see you. 
you want to die? The feast and built their own guest house. These are very generous guests. Who do you work for? Who's your lord? Eivor, you should hear this. Ah, this Bakrat and his friends had the foolish balls to raid Ravensthor. Are the others dead? A few. Most of them escaped. They did not damage much, but made off with some of our gear. Should I get Ranvi? No. She has enough on her table. I will handle this. So, you thought you would play at Vikinger, little man. Are you prepared to go all the way? You won't get anything out of me, Danish scum. I'll never talk. I'm Norse. And what makes you think I want to hear you talk? Maybe I will take my payment in flesh. Chop off his leg. It does not have to be a clean cut. No need to sharpen your blade. No, please! Don't cut off my leg! It was Sir Edward who wanted your stuff. He paid us to do it! Sir Edward? Yes, the Earl of West Turner! Or, or that's what he calls himself. Said he hates Vikings, your lord especially. Where can I find this Sir Edward, Earl of Westerna? I don't know, I'm new! We were supposed to steal the gear, then meet at the longship west of Ravensburg. That's all I know! You can take him to Randry now. Maybe we can trade him for a pig. I'm off to check out this longship. Hi, sir. Things have not gone out planned. Hi, Tom! Perhaps you can aid me in locating Hytham. What is your purpose with him? I have brought a sampling of goods from Ireland. That is, if I can bring my ships to dock. Azar! I see you've met Eivor Wolfkist. Ah, so you are Eivor. In fact, I bring you a message from Ireland. I know no one in Ireland. The letter is from Dublin's king. Sadly, I seem to have misplaced it. The King of Dublin? Why would such a one write to me? He wishes to expand trade to England. The purpose of my bringing goods here. Azar is from the East, but lives in Ireland now. But in matters of trade, Azar, your king should petition Ranvi. He claims to know Eivor. He asked me to accompany you on the trip there. I know no king, and I'm certainly not about to journey to Ireland. But first, Azar, you must build a trading post. In fact, where is your trade ship? Ah, oh, yes. An unfortunate incident most concerning. Trading rivals have blocked the river and thus my goods. A blocked river hurts all Ravensthorpe. Stay. I will put things right. As you see, Eivor is a person of action. Find me later, when the river is safely clear. Of course, my friend. I thank you, Eivor. I will find the king's letter in the meantime. You keep insisting that I know an Irish king. It is a fantasy. What manner of king is it that sends me letters from Ireland? This we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one.
Continue for fishing. Alvis, I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner square a circle. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> You see, flighting is simple, so hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Alvis is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Eivor, my stable is... Can you remind me what you do here? As a stable hand and a gameskeeper, I am happy to help you with any matter concerning your horses or your raven. How did you come to have such an affinity for horses, Rowan? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. I would like to see what you have in stock. <laughs> All done? Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. I trust you on any course now. today I have to go see you soon that's a damn fine stable we have now Lord look at it bye Eivor Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. 
Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the Longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area, and once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course, and your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Us. It's a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers, from further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned, a babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So you saw a white elk. That led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Evil, with me. There. Ah, that should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. 
Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. But that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear any... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This is grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Spirna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. You seem strangely familiar. Perhaps we have met in another life. But most likely, I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in Opal. 
A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mirror. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Up a tune. Is there a sea called among you? In the early days of the feud between Kionve the crew and the Raven clan, there was a mad berserker called Kiar Robo. Kiar had pledged his battle fury to no king or yar, and would give his oath only once each winter for reasons nobody could fathom. One year, Kiar's sister Kura was married to Kiotve's brother Alrek. And soon, Kiar was often seen in the company of that clan. But soon after, word came to Kiar that Alrek had abused his sister. When he asked Tora about this, she told him, It is true. So Kiar invited Alrek on a hunting expedition. When they were away, Kiar slew Alrek and pulled off one of his arms. When he returned to camp, Kiotve asked where his brother was. Kiar shook his head and held out his hand. In which was an armory. Your brother bid me give you this ring, Kyotve. Confused, Kyotve took the ring, and with it came the entire bloody arm. Your brother pledged his oath to hell herself, Kyar laughed. Then he turned and departed. He was never seen in those parts again. <laughs> Hold on, you!
Grow in these waters. Sing us a song. We need an epic tale. Have you heard me tell the tale of the six Christian missionaries I lured away from their faith into the worship of Almighty Thor? You showed them how to turn the crosses into hammers, simply by flipping them over. They fainted with joy. That tale? Uh, Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Let's hear a story. Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Aeon. A brooding warrior with a face of stone and oak-hard arms. Stories must wait. Not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Thornburg. I was looking for elk or deer or other game to bring home, but my luck was poor and I could find nothing worth my arrows. Coming up over a rise, I saw a rounded mountain ahead of me with a strange narrow slit in the earth running left to right. There appeared to be fresh water in this crevasse, which was strange, but it was on its side. As I approached, the ground rumbled, and the crevasse shuddered. Then it opened, as wide as a lake, and ringed with color. Stepping back to take in the view, I realized with a shock what I was seeing. The Eye of Jormungandr, the World Serpent. Yes, he sleeps near old Thornburg, blessing us with his dreams. Oh, if we could return there now, I would show you the place. One day, maybe. One day, I will show you the place. Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable... Here is a story I have not told a man, for it happened only last month. I was sharing a mead horn with a beautiful woman. When she... She, her sisters, and her mother all begged for your hand in marriage. Is that how this tale ends? Uh, uh, yes. Were you, were you there? <laughs> you stop, sir. Got a story? When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls, together with our parents, 
We attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House of Ingling. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars, you could have built a roof over it and called it a longhouse. When our work was done, an older boy, Guthron, suggested we steal a keg of meat, drown in happiness for our good work. So Guthrod, Mikkel, and Osa snuck into the storeroom and stole a barrel as I stood watch. But when we were spotted, I froze. Three of Harold's men stopped us. They struck Guthrod and Mikkel and pushed Osa to the ground. Whose idea was this? They asked. I stood and said, the idea was mine. The meat is for me. One of the men eyed me and said only, that is not true. Then they moved on. We pull up here. We can continue later. Sick it should be here with the Ragnarsons. Dranger. Uh, Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. Oh. From this rabid little one. It was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending fires! Now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Saxon piggy, uh, uh, run amok to the mercy in fields. <laughs>
What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Reptar. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgrid sent up. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Hacking over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lodbrok. But worry not, I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Ava, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Sounds like you'll be a king in name only. A puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We are going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Begin the sights of Repton if you like. We'll be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Geowulf. We all stand to benefit. You'll be remembered for this, for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear.
So, some of us are staying behind as I hit it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to help. What be this son, eh? Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of One war. Does not need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always Stop. finds new ways to humor Stop. himself. Smell that, Chelbert? The stink of jealousy of our butt. What is Chelwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Chelwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this shire to hell. Fears are with us, common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? Do you ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remain, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harold by name, a boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. 
but our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harold, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Chilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge, as easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust, the prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something, as if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Pagan rats, ravenous, unseemly beasts, teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofred? How quickly you recover. I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. <laughs> I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog. You're all the same to me, all godless! My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. 
No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost! If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse! Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a battering ram? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong. Looking for a worthy challenge. Hey! Control the damn beast! Who are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you.
Watchmen and elites, or they'll thin us out one by one. Let's end this! It's over, Burkred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice... I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. 
We are wasting time. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. Keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Just keep your wits about you. Come. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Oba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgred is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Ivar did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. 
If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson plots. You're dealing with me now, and I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow, and you can cover the cost. You take me for a fool. I take you for desperate beggars. I can smell it on you like dung heap. Now that's my price. What say you? You heard me the first time. But I'll get what I need, one way or another. No, no. You have shot your chance. And if you show your faces around here once more, I will tear you limb from limb. Well, that is not the result I was hoping for. I hope you have another idea. Tona keeps a close eye on whoever she deals with. If Berkford is keeping records, so is she. Somewhere behind those walls. See what you can find. I'll go back to the brothers. Keep those gates locked. If they come within a foot of here, kill them! Dear lovely dove, now I'm going to make you regret it. Straight to hell with you. Don't fall for any traps. <laughs> See what secrets you keep, Tona. This might be something. Looks like Berkrit once paid Tona to steer the Ragnarsons away from two areas. Berkrit's private haunts, perhaps. He could be at either one. Shouldn't have been so greedy, Tona. Right. Back to the brothers.
best not to draw attention here. Eivor, tell us you learned something. Letter Chester and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Letter Chester is a large village. And Templebroth, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkwright could be at either one. We should check both. As soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkwright now, offering silver for a warning about us. You won't be seeing her again. Not unless you're bound for Helheim. 
I'll collect now, if you don't mind. Ah, this one takes after me, brother. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebrock. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledichester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. Forget the torch. I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool. Must I do everything? Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think. How could you forget the torch? Look, this stranger has helped us. Come here, Sprout. Are you? You wanted fire. There you have it. Though I get the sense you two are ill fit for whatever it is you're plotting. <laughs> this one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. Sons of Ragnar? I know of many, but never have I heard of Dol and Dollar. What is your plan here? We set up that abandoned house to practice a raid. Build it with our most precious things to up the stakes. Even master raiders such as we need to stay sharp, brother. You better hurry. Please come with. I do not want to do this with my brother alone. This raid will harden our legacy, brother. Clans will come crawling, begging us to join them. Names will echo in the halls of Valhalla. Worry not, but it's proud. Together, we will grow you into a fine warrior. Against the feeling we have to punch you. Go on, brother. Like we talked about. Blow these doors in like a punishing storm. Stand back, Sprout, and observe. Excited. You must hear it in my voice. I cannot do it. Gentle as a lamb. Stand aside. What is wrong? The door is not opening. Use the key. Ah, yes. Uh, uh... Where did I put it? God. Mother's axe. It is inside. Please, strange. You must get it back for us. Find a way in. Ugh, doll and dollar, like I said.
I do not see it here! Which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean. I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are as useful as a glass hammer. I'm leaving. Do not listen to that drivel, brother. We must endure. The world will know us by name soon enough. My prices are competitive. Look here. would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers are plenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templarbrach? No. And if Borgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. 
He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkert slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Church is well guarded. Might find a way around. to take Tamworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first. They are for its orders. They are for its orders.
lost your mind. I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Ivar's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvilleswith. She's in Templebloch. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Let's get you out of here, now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. I don't think so. My god. I didn't want it to come to this. They would have killed you, Chilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. I'll be back. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You are reckless, Ebor. Jailbird could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his boss? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned, you are Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burkrit's Lady Athelswith is in Temple of I'm going to find out what she knows. <sighs> Take everything! have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack, the scourge of swan ropes, the iron throng, the lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter, someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Shit! 
Favorite you even better. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Say anything again. We've told you everything. Won't you let us go? That depends on what happens here. Ava, there you are. What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Burger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with. They must have separated after Tomworth. I heard as much from Chelbert and Little Chester. Chelbert? What was he doing there? Ivar. Too long a tale for now, but he's fine. I sent him to Repton. What's the plan here? It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Alice with. Capture a queen to find a king. That might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aver will take care of fetching Alice with. Oh, then guide you. The Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. We could find a quiet way in, or we can take a long ship. I'm beside you either way. Ah, oh, Haver. I have dreamt of this day. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a viking good. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering new lands. Forming lasting friendships. 
And if it takes chasing some wee soul across a new land, so be it. I am right where I wish to be. As am I, brother.
You three, scurry. Lady Avonsworth, I see Burgret has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Aver? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger. But she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Watch the handmaidens. I'll follow Athol's with. You're finished! will send you all to hell. Quite clever, your ladyship. You're certainly making us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan! Have you lost your sense of hospitality? I regret asking. Stay away from me! Let me go! Lady Arthurswith, you have seen better days. God will sear your soul, heathen, if he can find it. Why, the cat shaver? She is as much a poet as you. Where's my Kathleen? What have you done with her? Your handmaiden, you mean? The brave one, dressed in royal finery? Season change with the others. I'll take them back to Tamworth. Get them talking. If she has so much as a scratch on her... I will inform Cheerwolf. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I will meet you there. Sigurd, what about these prisoners? We've got what we need. Let them go. Oh, you <laughs> are a good friend to me. Thank you. What's that about?
What's all that about? Your turn. She won't talk to me. You have exhausted my friend Uber here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkrit is hiding and let him rest happy. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly vole, too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? <laughs> my husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise? knowing that even his closest friends could betray him. Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. I don't care how you feel about Cheowulf, but he will be king. It's only a matter of when. Borbred is king. Elected by the Witten and anointed by God. My lady, I know what the losing side looks like, and you're on it. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Tamblebroth, and Letterchester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borbred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Chills of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrith remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor, your ladyship, do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! Out, Eivor. Now. All right, all right. But if you mean to stay, mind the smell after they finish this. My... My god! Get me out of here! Please! Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You... You are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you will betray countless others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Jailwolf's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Does the caged bird sing? Burkrit is hiding, in an old crypt to the south, where the Alnir and Arrow rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. That's were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me. Pile the soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom. <laughs> These mercy and soldiers should be relieved of their... need some time. Oh, 
Don't stop there, please. <laughs> You have my thanks, Ravenbearer. So, Sudan.
can't be! Stay back! That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, don't you know that. This kingdom is mine! Mine! Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. Get me off this thing! You, you, you think you've won? You haven't! Liar, Fritz! I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. You're a blight on this world. The whole lot of you. A rancid disease. You don't deserve mercy. To the victor, the spoils, my lord. You must win mercy to the server. Hey, boy! This way! We need to go! Fast! Right behind you. Familiar? No! No, you... God, you godless God. slugs! You won't get away with this! Run for Odin! Load for your relief, Arida! Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A return with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? 
Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zalitz. Who does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies. Nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the time. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all very well good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a lamb to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some backcraft I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Arachnason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Duba, no. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Uba want? To grow old and fat on a farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. People change. It may be you change with them, or you go your separate ways. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. 
You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Cherwolf. Ah. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... <coughs> you fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, I... I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king. A merciful king. God save the king! Is that be worth all this trouble? Mercian soldiers, marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly ant, that bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. He will come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. No, but we caught sight of Leo fleeing across the river. Ah! He's chasing. It has to be Tailbat.
He's in trouble. I won't back down, Leofrid. I will not. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Please! You do not want to do this. Leofrid! Let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this. Day. Even if you defeat me, the Rat Wings have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. Finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. Go on, then. End it. No appeal to your god or your king. I swore an oath to Sir Vulcan to the death. I thought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable Thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burkrid abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrid, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leovrid. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burkrid is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death? What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted. So close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Robe. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You are lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Tailbird, this wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There's no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forges a new path. You were right about him, Chilbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Chilbert! 
Bert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Athling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. Uba and Eva lost countless men in this fight. You want to show your thanks? Hold to your end of the bargain. Of course. All of England will soon know that the Kingdom of Mercia has a new and powerful king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Cheobert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. I should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uga. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, a brave little twig. That is good to hear. Now then, Leofrid sent their hunters after me. Sellers. If I don't clear my name, I will be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. Seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a bracket will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Earth. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Earth. <laughs> I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised, I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. 
You've earned it. Smoke and ashes now. I should get those sellers off my back. your eyes. Guards here are vigilant.
show me what lies ahead. Damn you! Damn you! Ava, you really are a generous one. Arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. Enough for today. I will see you later, friend. Until next we meet. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You are most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. Volka! God, Sabo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. The only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart.
And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. the plants you need good good once added to the elixir it will be ready to drink in taking this you will have access to the all father's wisdom you will walk the path of odin and live as he lived so long ago prepare yourself for a journey into another time another plane The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the nine worlds.
got a few new things. What have you got for... Nothing more today. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Remember everything you need anything else. I must take my leave. Until next time. marks fewer members of the Order. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of gratitude, I want you to have this. Thank I have to go. Then go in peace. Have you seen Wallace? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. He can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another. He was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. there. He may have stayed somewhere near. Oh no! Evil! Over here! <sighs> A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong. <laughs> Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Hmm. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The White Elk. The White Elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. 
Our guardian is back, leading us to my brother. Hurry! There's no time! Here! Petra! Where are you? Petra! Hello! Mimia, guide me. Have I lost her too? Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. I am... I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the White Elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? Uh... I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take your evil back to Sutunga's Hall! <laughs> what have you done with Petra? What, really? what have you done to Petra? Answer me! Evil! Stop! Ah! I will make them talk to you. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. There's no need to question this power any further. Uh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there! This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here! Eivor, come on! I'm up here! Vetra! How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? Just come to me. I'll show you. How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! Amazing. You did it, just like your Sunin. And not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. <sighs> Let's see you, old friend are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no! The wolf spirits have wakened! Good day, Spore. I hope I'm not intruding, but you see my bitches? This one doesn't Thank you for your 
to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rabbits for permission. Glad to see you made it, Chilbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of led Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. 
but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chill, Bent. Your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Yalt's Corner, and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? No words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Does this stir your thirst for battle, Randri? <laughs>
that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. Are there colors and markings? I believe they come from Giedland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. May there be one who mourns you at home, but we will not. Eivor, I could have sent my scouts to follow him home. We might have learned something. The price of such disrespect is death, Ranvi. Just as Sigurd would have done. I cannot devise a strategy if my advice is ignored. To let that man live would announce to the world that we are soft and cowardly. Now these wayward Danes know to fear us. Forgive my haste, Ranvi, but Dag is right. For once you see clearly, I beg the gods that it continues. We should clean this mess and move the bodies from the camp. Agreed. Then we talk of our next steps, together. I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us, instead of just hiding here in the Longhouse. You were exactly where you needed to be, defending the people and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you, not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then, they bring a feast and build their own guest house. These are very generous guests. Ravensthorpe, an island of calm. Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree. I've always found peace there in the past. Which way now? This way! We're almost there! Come on, Eivor! Can't you run any quicker? 
Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. For her. She's great. Probably misses her. This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. She's crying! We have to help! Her family probably misses her. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she, she's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise. And you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Oh, more wolves! And not on your friend! Stand back! Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. Wolfga. What? The Wolfga. It's like Dog Wolf. Uh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? The Wolfga. It has an absurd sound, just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you.
Good to see you. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders. They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. Make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnier myself. A good plan. Safe travels. I did. man about my age called Rokur, who we had taken to calling Rokur the Rodent for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang. And on the agreed-upon day, he laid out twelve of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak? Or diaphragm! Did I ever tell you all the story of how I killed an entire clan single-handedly with the broken hilt of a sword? Too often now, more times than any man can count. <laughs> Is there a cease call among you? When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite Face cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls, together with our parents. We attended a feast at the home of Halptan the Black of the House of Ingling. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars, you could have built a roof over it and called it a longhouse. The youngest son, an older boy, Luthrod, suggested to steal a peg of meat, drown in happiness for our good work. So Guthrod, Mikkel, and Orsa snuck into the storeroom and the stole the barrel yeah. as I stood watch. But when we were spotted, I froze. Three of Harold's men stopped us. They struck Guthrod and Mikkel and pushed Orsa to the ground. Whose idea was this? They asked. I stood and said, the idea was mine. The meat is for me. One of the men eyed me and said only, that is not true. Then... They moved on. Dock the ship here. Norwich. Suffering. Uh, 
it, it? Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools, and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they are sorely mistaken. I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Do not believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. What's happening? Finir? <sighs> no, not unless Halfton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finir, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? <sighs> You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. You just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Such exquisite fetching. Fitting feathers. 
It wasn't us! I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. It's beeping. The same men who attacked it this place is heavily guarded.
they left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at all to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my Petros family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Healthy seeming town, as Oswald has done well for himself. Look there, alone Dane. Can't trust that. Shh. Be kind, yeah, as Christ would command. Fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Been here, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Brode, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it, but you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Brode, that the is. The last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Oh dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. You won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back the Thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. You'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolf Kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your. Blessed eater. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You hurt me. That's it. Oh, she called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft. Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. 
This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Eivor, good to see you. Oh. You are Oswald's powerful bride-to-be, Baldus. I'm not his. This marriage is to be an alliance, nothing more. Besides, the man can barely carry a sword or speak with conviction. Oswald is many things, but a gifted leader, he is not. Still... Of everyone I've met here, he is the only one willing to be responsible for the place. I will leave you to your day. You can find Oswald by the docks. And watching the river calms him, apparently. Ah, good morning. Upright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnear the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh, I'm glad you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winter's our season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... 
plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, Kerr, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. He'd take two seats in a longship. He'd do well to remember that, Oswald. A walrus? A whale? A behemoth by name? No, it's Finny the Fool, drunk and reeking with shame. Oh. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamed words. If you have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home game. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home game. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finia wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on, this is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Sea Hatch. Water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Are you ready for the home game? I hope so. I just need to prepare. I'll meet you at the islet. Some time ago, I met a wandering skald in search of a Jarl or King to serve. He had not composed a verse in years, and was fearful of losing his skill. I said I knew many such great men, a few Jarls, a handful of kings by name. But to my knowledge, all of them had many skalds of their own. This poor skald was disappointed and thanked me for my time, asking my name as he departed. Dog Nithisum, I told him. The Skald's eyes went wide. Dog Nithisum, he exclaimed. Of Thornburg? I nodded and said, The very man I am. The poor Skald sung to the skies with joy. You are a legend among legends, he said. Let me compose a verse for you, if I may. Imagine my surprise at hearing such praise. But I agreed. So he began for two days composing a most lovely verse on my behalf. Yes, a most lovely verse. Unforgettable, yes. And I will... Yes, I will recite it for you one day. When we have time. <laughs> Hush now. 
You made it. Now tussle with care, and go easy on our future king. He's the only man left who can claim the crown. <sighs> Done. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're an aunt. Just do your best, I'll be fine. We'll forge your king out of you yet. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't hold back. You felt that one. I'm still here. Ha! You expect the Danes to follow this pork belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Now. To fight you see. Inspire us, King! You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll I'll prove it! Come on, oh, fight! Finish this, Eivor! It pains me to watch! The victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty. Even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head-on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, Better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew can help with this attack. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. What's that? Oh!
Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard won fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? Brothers, I have more than enough wealth in Elmhout to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to Norwich, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there.
Silver, livestock, and a trophy from our slain enemy. What more do you want? Who said we wanted it? No battle then to Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Baldis is right. There will be others. If I had seen any more, I would have killed them too. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls, by the water's edge. They will be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scouts will be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk. Looks like one of Bruid's men. Wait, wait! What are you doing? I'm just a pig farmer. You are awfully well armed for a pig farmer. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who'd like to speak to you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh, it's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath. Liar. send you to. Speak now and you may live to see tomorrow. Arger swine. That won't make you any friends here. A scolding like that is a mortal offense, boy. I killed the bastard. Don't give him time to act again. I'll ask once more. Why were you lurking around Norwich's walls? I came to pay my respects, Lord, to Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. Tell him why you're here, and you may walk free with your head on your neck. Lick my dunghole. Here's the term I use for licking. How does it feel against your eyes? When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. You've served your purpose. Time to die. You promised he'd go free. He insulted you before everyone gathered here. Don't ever let that go unanswered. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. If 
Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already. I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Dunwich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. We'll be there, Eivor. You don't speak for us, steward. Need I remind you, Wax, what Halftown will do with us if he's an... <laughs> Need I remind you, Wax, what hey! Halftown will Look, do with us if he's and a falls into Ruid's hands?
Fetch. Ruid's men tore through it. Eivor! You made it! Dunwich! It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Bruthir, Valdis, and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. Dunwich. Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier.
That's the last of them. Once the brazier is lit, the rest of Ruid's men should arrive. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You. I don't know you. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, the clan your men attacked before I fed them to the crows. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now? After five happy years away from your stinking balls. I called you, Ruid. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia. And Valdis's husband-to-be. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. <laughs> Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey? After coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver. And an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. A fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdis and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, King of <coughs> Sheep. <coughs> I'm ready! <coughs> Breaking off. They've given up for now. That's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back.
Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there where you can. He died a hero, there's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. 